Look who made a Teddy fan art. See, I said I was going to do it. I'm surprised I did it, but I'm, I'm glad I did it. Before I go off on why Teddy is A tier in my mind, uh, I'm just going to talk about the style I worked on this time. Because for the last Bob's Burger fan art, I did sort of a layer by object. So Linda's shirt was one layer, Bob's shirt was one layer, the burger buns were one layer, and then I would clipping mask each layer so that I could shade and color inside that without having to worry about the to going past the lines. But then it kind of created a, a stiff look, I think, or kind of too sharp and too cut out. So for this one, I tried working on making it a little bit softer, more painterly. So instead of working by object and then clipping mask, I did full layers of painting. So I did a base layer, a layer on top of that, and I just kept adding detail and detail. And then I didn't cut out any of the objects or any of the um, any of the different elements. I just sort of worked on top of each other the whole time to make sort of like a, a softer painterly look. For the Teddy Art concept, I went with a theme from the Bob's Burger movie. There was a song called Lucky Ducks that the Carnies sing when the Belcher kids find them. And then I wanted to base the fan art off of that and have Teddy on one of the Lucky Ducks sailing off into the sunset with the wharf as the skyline. But Teddy wasn't in that in that sequence. And you might be like, but GOG, Teddy wasn't even in that sequence. That doesn't even make any sense. Ho 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 ho. And I would say, elementary ma dear, Teddy is the embodiment of Lucky Ducks. Confusion spills over your face and your fingers go cold and numb. Teddy means the embodiment of Lucky Ducks. Teddy means the embodiment of Sad Man Sad Face feeling bad dumplings. Ho 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 ho, I laugh at you. That's where you're wrong, good sir. Sit down and open your ear holes, because I'm about to pour some piping hop knowledge into them. And then you stay for the rest of the video to hear my fun take. Boop. Teddy in the show is Bob's most consistent customer, but he also acts as Bob's best friend, though Bob will deny that. He acts as a kid's pseudo uncle who provides him with tools for shenanigans. And then he's also an ear for Linda, Bob, or any of the kids to rant or explain some of the problems going on within the show. Teddy always has anecdotes about how colorful his past experiences are, from being a past lifeguard to being a former US vet. Albeit most of the stories are really sad, like makes you want to donate money to him sad. But out of the Bob Burger characters, I think he has the sweetest disposition. But who is Teddy really? Why does he do this? I'm closing, you gotta go, Teddy. What? Why? It's dark. There's no food. There's nothing here for you. That's okay. Go on, scat. No, not. Th I mean. Scatty, body, body, boop, I meant go, boop, boop, not scat. Go. 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 Where am I supposed to go? Shoot. Ah. Get out, Teddy. Ah. 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 Get out. So I should go. And this. I don't like it. I don't like it. Stop. Keep your hands up. I don't like it. I don't like this. Keep them up. Just stop. Just stop, Bob. I don't like it. Don't lower your hands, Teddy. You're scaring him. Uh, He's crying. It's not fun for everyone, Bob. And this. Is this what you want, huh? Is this what you want, you sick bastard? Yes! <laughs> I'm fine. Let's bring it back. Season 7, Episode 2, See Me Now. Teddy tries to get the attention of his ex, Denise, by impressing her with a boat called See Me Now. Hey, fruit salad! I mean, Denise! I mean, look at my boat! I'm inside of a boat! It, I mean, it's my boat! Teddy? Huh? Hey! Hi! Denise! When did you start waitressing at your boyfriend's place? I mean, is that when- Season 9, Episode 4, Nightmare on Ocean Avenue Street. Teddy tries to impress the smell-good handyman by making Bob a giant mechanical spider on Halloween. Teddy has an unquenchable need to feel loved, or useful, or to be needed, but where does this come from? It all started in Season 8, Episode 5, Thanks Hoarding. You don't just give up on stuff, you can fix it! Yeah, it might be okay to give up on the half a waffle maker? I'm saving that until I find the other half! I'm a fixer, I fix things! I've always been a fixer, I'm gonna fix that waffle maker soon! Oh my god, I'm having a brain smart. Teddy, you sat between your parents when they would argue. You were the peacemaker. You were trying to fix things. Oh yeah, your mom and dad are the two halves of the waffle maker. That makes you a waffle. It's probably why you like butter so much. Oh, Teddy, I'm sorry. You also find out Teddy's a hoarder in this episode. 
and the rest of the Belchers have weird quirks about themselves too, but it's all okay because you just gotta be yourself, that's like the message of the episode. But Teddy's quirk makes him want to help needlessly, so he becomes a handyman. That or he's just good at fixing things. Even in the Bob's Burger movie, Teddy can't help but help out the Belchers, makes him a little burger place on wheels. That was close. Glad we got you out of there, little cart. But boy, oh boy, did you do good selling burgers. I wouldn't be surprised if Bob and Linda use you every day from now on. Oh, no! 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 Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. That's okay. You rest now. You did good. You're a brave little cart. Another strange benefit from Teddy's, he's really social and he's genuinely interested in learning about other people and not like in a narcissistic way where he just wants them to love him. He, he has an honest interest in others. Bob realizes this in season 12 episode 4, Driving Big Dummy. Why are you staring, Bob? Hey, Teddy, I, 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 I want to say something. I guess maybe I thought you were lonely, but you're really not at all. You make friends wherever you go, and you're so interested in people all the time. I, um, I'm never interested in people. I, I don't like people that much. Not you guys, though. You're, you, you seem great. But I don't really like that about myself, and I guess I really admire that about you. Oh, thanks. And hey, don't beat yourself up, Bob. You are like that, kind of, with the six people you already know. But yeah. He's naturally social and earnestly interested in other people, which like as an adult is really hard. Like for anyone who's quite young or like I would say like 25 and below, like making friends with new people is really hard, especially when you're an adult. So we've established that Teddy's life is a series of unfortunate events if it started a handyman, a handyman orphan, a handyman orphan who liked to bite things and was an inventor and who loved to read and that he's super friendly for an adult and that he always wants to help no matter what kind of just wants to be a part of the gang, you know what I mean? He's like, a, he's like a big puppy, a big puppy with a hammer, a big puppy hammer orphan sad. But how does all of this connect to Lucky Ducks? Okay, so the Lucky Ducks song is sung by... <laughs> the Lucky Ducks song is sung by the Carnies, and they're complaining about how hard their life is, how unfair everything is, and Louise matches their troubles by explaining her life is just as hard, this is debatable, and they're just down on their luck, but Louise chooses that she doesn't need the Lucky Ducks, she can make her own luck. And that's Teddy's character in a nutshell. His life is so sad, it's almost laughably depressing. And Teddy's coping mechanism for all of this is to fix things. He hopes that when he fixes things, that he'll get love back in return. And this need for love has also made Teddy social in his adult life and attentive to other people's needs. Teddy has decided whether he realizes it or not that he's going to make the world that he wants with his own two hands. Even if the whole world beats him down every step of the way, he's going to ride off into the sunset wide-eyed and optimistic with every tool that he needs to succeed right under his belt. I mean, see him- Thank you.